Welcome to the stage. Today I want to show you my setup, how I build up my keyboard rig and how I use it. So let's check it out. So that's my setup here. We have on the bottom the Phantom O and on the top we have the Nord Lead 4. I recently replaced the Nord Stage 2 with this Phantom O due to some functions of the layering and the multi samples. And I use this keyboard mainly as my master keyboard and playing all the standard sounds except acoustic pianos and also except the synths. There are some features of this keyboard which I really love, which is the sample pads which you can assign different functions. So for example, you can it's now set it up to keyboard switch groups, which means each of these pads can activate a different layer on the keyboard. If I press layer number one, I have this. It's actually a string, Rhodes layer. And if I press button number two, I have this CP80 sound with some choir in the background. And this makes, makes it really easy to uh, accomplish different parts of the song by using only one setup or one program, whatever the brand calls it. In the Phantom it's the scene. Regarding the scenes, that's the first thing I do when I get a new keyboard. I will delete all the presets. I don't use presets. If we look into the sound for this song, for example, we have here eight layers and I'm using the eight layer setting on this keyboard. So I can assign eight different sounds. And due to this function of the switch group, I can just switch between them like I want to. Another thing what I really like on this keyboard is it has the eight sliders which was also not present within the Nord Stage 2. So I can access each sound on the fly. Doesn't matter if I play internal sound of the Phantom or if I play an external sound. If I press the other uh, switch group, then you can see we have a green light, which means I'm playing an external sound on this layer. And I can control it just by, just like it is an internal sound, which is really cool. What is also really cool, I can just using a USB cable connect my phone and I have set up an app which is called the Media Designer, I think. And it's currently controlling the keyboard switch group, which I have right on the pads here. You can see it, but you can imagine when I'm playing with my right hand something, I cannot necessarily move the hand to the pads. So for this case, I can just use my left hand and touch here, for example, I press now button 2 and you can see button 2 is activated and if I press button 3, button 3 is activated and so on. Also, what I really like within this machine is the tone wheel organ, which I just activate here. And if we press this button, we can see the drawbars but I don't use the internal Leslie simulation because it sounds a little weak for me. So I have connected an external Leslie simulator which goes from the sub out and comes back to the Phantom via the line in. You can see it here on the bottom. It's the mini vent 2. I control it with my feet and I have decided to go with the mini vent to have not any buttons so I can put it in the case and do not need to worry about any settings get lost by uh, unintentional turning of the buttons. And also I have set up my phone to draw bars so I can actually move the draw bar on the phone and you can see in the screen it's controlling the phantom straw bar. This is very handy when I'm not in the draw bar screen. So if I go out here, if I'm in this screen or in the zone, zone view screen, I can 
uh, still use the phone and always have the draw bars visible. Then moving on to the Nord Lead 4, which is for me it's a killer synth. It can do whatever is in the in the radio currently. You have two oscillators within this machine. One oscillator is also controlling the noise and the second oscillator can also be used as a frequency modeling. So I actually have subtractive synthesis and I also have frequency modeling synthesis. If I give you some examples, so let's just uh, select a, a program. So on one hand side, I can build just a normal synthesis sound like uh, having here uh, two oscillators, both saw waves mixed together, some tweaking on the filter, and then we can achieve uh, a nice lead sound like you, you all know it. And just to give you an example, for the FM synthesis within this machine, I have built up, or I tried to build up the iconic sound of Linkin Park's NUM. And this is using the frequency modeling, if you check here. So actually we have a wavetable within the first oscillator and the second oscillator is using the noise. And the noise is being used to model the first oscillator to achieve a sound like this. And that's the reason why I love this machine. You can really build up any sound and you are flexible for mostly every song. And I really like the knobs. The knobs are a must, in my opinion, for a synthesizer. I don't want to use all these functions within a computer on the screen and assign all the knobs in the first place. Here everything is set up and I can build my sounds very fast. Then we can see here on the top of the Nord lead I have a small MIDI controller. So this does nothing else than controlling channel 6 of the Phantom. So I can set up with, with the channel 6 any sound I want and play it on the small keyboard. So nothing special, but I, I thought let's use the space the, the empty space on the Nord lead to something more useful. And then when you can remember, I have also talked uh, that I don't use the acoustic pianos in the Phantom due to the simple reason I don't like them. I think they sound quite thin and they are not up to date anymore. And of course the Phantom O doesn't have a V piano. I think the V piano is a really good piano, but it's not here on this machine and I don't want to carry the extra weight and the extra money. So for this I have bought a used Dexible stage piano module, which is here. It's the SX7 and I use it only for the acoustic pianos and the CP80 sounds, which are excellent in this machine. I use the Vivo Grand mostly all the time and it's just sitting here being controlled from the Phantom and all three machines, the Nord Lead, the Phantom and the Stage Piano module coming together in this rack mixer and being sent to the front of house. On the top here we have a, a small in-ear mixer where I have linked from the DI box my keyboards into channels and the channel 1. Here we have the, the signal coming from the front of house to uh, build up my in-ear monitoring. Then last but not least we have an iPad here and this one is controlling the Phantom. It's sending program changes so I if I select here another song, let's tip on the screen of the iPad and you can see that the Phantom changes the setup. And I also use it for sheets and stuff like this. The iPad does not produce any sound. I only use it to read the sheets and also to send the program changes. 
and also for the iPad I have this small controller so if I press with my foot I can switch the songs without using my hand so I can switch the songs during I'm playing here using the scene remain the sound will still be on the on the phantom or whatever it controls and it already changes the, the scene to the next song and I can just start to play. Uh, also here I have some pedals which is a main volume control. This one is just the sum of everything so it comes after the rack mixer. In the middle we have an expression pedal which controls uh, the phantom or being sent out to the Nord lead using the MIDI. So it is whatever I set it up to and the small pedal here is a sustain pedal. So long, that's it. Um, if you want to see a video about the connections of these keyboards, how I did the wiring that everybody speaks with everybody, then let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, hit subscribe. I would appreciate it and don't forget to smash the bell. <laughs>